I think we have launched quite a lot of different initiatives already. Uh, the focus being a lot on awareness and communication. I think we might say that we have achieved uh, something there already. I think we managed to, or for us, it was important to really make it very explicit what diversity and inclusion means for us as a company, uh, to make a, a statement there um, and to also connect with the people, uh, ask for feedback, for input, advice, and really work from that feedback. We did some awareness sessions with uh, leadership as well. Um, so we really worked on communication internally, externally, and being close to the people to really try to know what is alive in the company and to work with that information as well. And I think people really find us now, not all of them yet, but we see that it's being talked about and, and, and people uh, connect with us to, to talk about it or to share some ideas or initiatives. Um, and then some things to add to that. I think the awareness, and we've seen tangible results of that, by increasing the awareness, um, you, you take away the obstacles for people to come forward when they have concerns. Um, since we've given this topic the awareness that it deserves, we've had multiple instances where people come forward with concerns. So that for us is a major achievement. Um, another achievement of which I'm actually very proud um, and, and, and which I learned recently is that in, our, in a number of our trainings, we have already revised them um, in the perspective of being more diverse and inclusive. It, it's trainings with respect to, to interviews for recruitment. It's trainings in uh, presentation techniques. Um, and for me, again, that is a tangible result of revising things, making them better uh, in the perspective of diversity and inclusion. 